worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and dignity and wisdom and strength and honor. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today's Mass is offered for all the living and deceased parishioners of St. Jude the Apostle Parish. In a special way, remember a Bernice Agnelia, uh, whose funeral service is today. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sin. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to your the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal mystery, what we celebrate in joy, may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Prasadas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the bro your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Sicilia, of Gentile origins. Greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind. We have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas in silence, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, liar at heart. I will awake the dog. 
I will give names to you among the peoples of the world. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth, be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. The Lord be with you, and with your, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have been listening to, throughout much of the Easter season, the Acts of the Apostles. It's important for us to place, uh, in the context of our understanding of the faith, what is going on here. What we are listening to unfold is apostolic succession. Apostolic succession, which is those who have been appointed by Christ and chosen by him to go forth and bear fruit that will remain. Those he has chosen, those he has appointed, are doing just that, going forth, proclaiming Christ crucified to all the world. It's important for us, too, to recognize that apostolic succession is one of the pillars of the faith. Without it, there are no sacraments, there's no priesthood. Without it, the faith simply crumbles. It's one of the pillars, not unlike the scriptures and the whole of the positive faith tradition. So we have to be wary when uh, ecumenical councils are called into question, for they are gatherings of the apostles who speak with the Holy Spirit. We have to be careful whenever we see that the early church fathers and their successors, their teachings on the faith are questioned. As they stand as direct descendants of the apostles, as participants in those anointed by Christ, sharers in his ministry. The apostolic succession, I know it's, it's not fun, it's, it sounds like an academic term, but it's really not, it's simply those who follow after the apostles. The Reformation was one of those moments in which the apostolic succession was simply denied. But it's happened many times, many times, that throughout the history of the Church that the authority of those who follow after Christ is rejected or so on and so forth, in part because of human weakness, for sure but in part because of a lack of faith, a lack of belief that what Christ has said in the scripture is true. The command to love one another, the command to love one another, means speaking 
what is true to those who think you. That's part of what it means. It means willing the good of another. And you only mean will the good of another when you truly want to see their flourishing. And that's the reason for the existence of apostolic succession. That it may be one of the key mechanisms, if you will, by which the love of God commanded by Jesus is spread throughout the world. Go and bear fruit that will remain. So that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. When the church speaks in its unified voice, especially in ecumenical councils, or when the Pope speaks ex cathedra by virtue of being the vicar of Christ, we have to listen. And we owe obedience to those proclamations of the church given in this way. And then, in our, its own way, to our own bishop, who is the successor and prince of the apostles, we owe him due obedience in all that is good. Lord, let us pray for the gift to recognize uh, any assaults upon the uh, apostolic successor that you have appointed, but also to pray for them that they may be unified in proclaiming your name throughout the world, and that they may, by proclaiming your name in a unified manner, also convey the love that you have for all of the world. Let us now offer to God Almighty Father our prayers and petitions. We pray for Holy Mother the Church, for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests throughout the world who share in the spirit of Christ crucified. They may be instruments of God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those entrusted to the care of God's shepherd. That by the strength of the Holy Spirit, they may learn humble obedience and also to pray for those who are their shepherds. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who suffer in mind, body, or spirit. The Lord may pour out his mercy and healing love upon them and grant them comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are feeling the burden of isolation and being alone during this time. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, may they know God's presence in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the Lord may encourage all of those who are inclined to despair and discouragement at this time, especially those without work. The Lord may lift them up through His own grace, but also through the a charity and working of his holy people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and will die this day, especially for Benice. And we pray also for those who have not been recourse to the sacraments. The Lord will forgive them their sins and bring them to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the intentions that we hold now in the silence of our heart. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, through your apostles and their successors, you have poured out your grace upon the whole world, especially to the sacrament. Increase our yearning for you. Help us to desire you more and more every day as we are absent from you. Bind us closer to yourself and help us to know and trust that you will hear and answer all of these prayers of ours according to your most holy will. For we ask them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, we become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to obtain you, O Lord. But in this time of all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to the throne in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joys, every land, every people exalts in your name. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic voice sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they are Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. In the you are indeed holy, O Lord, the proud of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new ball, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us in your love, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co to eternal life, and to make praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostle, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be The crucified is risen from the dead and has redeemed us. Hallelujah.
let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to Holy Saint Jude, Apostle and Martyr, great in virtue and rich in miracles, near kinsman of our Lord Jesus Christ, faithful intercessor of all who invoke your special patronage in time of need, do I have recourse from the death of my God, and humbly beg whom God has given such great power to come to my assistance. Help me in my present and urgent petition. In return, I promise to make your name known. Cause your name to be glorified. Saint Jude, pray for us all and all who invoke your name. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. 